The 1975 uh, World Cup, the first one, was memorable for a great final in which the West Indies captain Clive Lloyd made a century. The, uh, the good thing to me about the 1975 World Cup was that the two best teams and the two most aggressive teams got to the final. And the reason for it being uh, important in my book was uh, we kept being told, uh, the Australian team, by the English cricket writers, that we didn't know how to play the game because it was a containment game, not an attacking game. Well, the two teams that got to the finals both attacked. Uh, we attacked early after I won the toss and sent the West Indies in. We got three quick wickets and then Clive Lloyd came in and uh, he batted us from one side of Lords to the other. Um, he, he got 100, I think, off about 85 balls. Um, it was a typical Clive Lloyd innings. He, he used to have that big bat with a really thick handle and uh, he used, to, used it to bludgeon the bowlers. I think we might have, he might have given one chance early on, which we dropped, and not knowing it at the time, but uh, that was going to cost us the World Cup final. Lloydie had a habit of making uh, runs in final matches at Lords. He'd done it for Lancashire, and on this occasion he did it for the West Indies. And um, it, I mean, I guess if you're going to lose, and nobody likes to lose a final, but if you're going to lose, uh, the, the man you'd like to see beat you is Clive Lloyd because one, he was a lovely bloke and two, he was a very aggressive batsman. Uh, the other thing that I remember that 1975 uh, World Cup final for was uh, it was a very long day. Uh, in fact, Rodney Marsh and I spent 14 hours in our creams that day. We arrived at uh, 10 o'clock for the game and we finished up after the West Indies had won the presentation on the field. We went down to the West Indies dressing room to have a drink with them and, and uh, Rodney and I finished up in the tavern bar with Clive Lloyd. Clive Lloyd by that stage had had a shower and changed into his suit, but Rodney and I were still in our creams at midnight. So we'd been at Lord's in our creams for 14 hours and unfortunately we're on the losing side thanks to 100 by Clive Lloyd.